Uh, that sounds like a leak in the tire. We do. It's happened with the tire. But we've just got to try and sit. We have to. We don't have a choice. We yeah, don't well. have service. We desert, can't guys. call anyone. We can't call roadside assistance. Yeah. We paid for that. Yeah, that's right. We paid for roadside. We, we have no reception to call them, so. <laughs> Mexican hat is coming up in three miles on this highway. Super beautiful day with low tire pressure as usual. That's the Mexican hat. Good pickup, Robs. We almost drove past it actually. That's how indistinct it is. All right, quick look. All right, so Mexican hat is known as Mexican hat because of the rock that's shaped like a sombrero. That's it right there. Sitting up there, Mexican hat. There you saw it, now we're off. We're up to the township of Mexican hat. There's the sign, Mexican hat. All right, we're gonna stop for five minutes. If there's anything worth stopping for, otherwise we'll keep going. 4 Pizza stuff closes at 4. Quarter past 4. 15 minutes. There'll be a toilet here and coffee. Alright, 3.30ish in the afternoon. 31st of August, we stopped at Mexican Hat. We managed to find some coffee here actually, which is amazing. 7-Eleven um, store can never let us down. Uh, just a bit of a break here. Some more protein bars as, as well actually. These are actually pretty cheap. These ones here, that one, 20 grams of protein, and this one here. They're about two bucks each. You know, they're good to snack on for long road trips. Robin's just taking a few notes of our trip, and our copies from 7-Eleven, and then we'll shoot off, continue on, and we'll hit Monument Valley coming up very soon. Bobsy, this is where the famous photo is taken. Right at the top here. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get this photo. We gotta get this photo. The sun's in the wrong position. That's right. She should have hurried up. Uh that sounds like a leak in the tire. We do. Oh We got a leak in the fing tire. Guys, we've actually got a leak in the tire. It sounds like a pretty fast leak. Just notice it's standing at the top of what seems to be a really popular place to take photos. Shit. The only place I know is Can you just Mexican check that? Hat. Yeah, just check what that says. Yeah, we've got a serious problem now. How did that just happen? We got a really fast tire leak, we're losing a lot of air pressure. It's really, really bad, it's pretty bad. We're probably, we're racing back to the service station now. We're in the middle of the f***ing desert. Sorry, I don't need to We're gonna have to chase. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, we just go back to the service station and we'll have to look for a spare tire. Surely there's a spare tire. Just hear the sound of the air coming out of the tire, you're like, <laughs> Do we have a leak? What's that? What's... Just, just take it easy because the problem is that with the air pressure dropping like this, the car's going to be harder to control. We've made it back to the service station with the flat tire and um, Anyway, it's a rental car. We're at Mexican Hat and it's about five o'clock in the afternoon. Thinking that maybe, you know, could change the tire ourselves. Um, yeah, this is what we discovered. And, uh, hello, no spare tire. What's this? Is that a little pump? There's no tire. We have no spare tire. We're in the middle of nowhere. We don't have phone reception. We, have we no can't even call roadside assistance. We have no phone reception. Hey, hey, um, so 
So we're in the middle of the desert, right? We have a flat tire. And the little kit here is like, like a little compressor. And it has like a little sealant inside it. And apparently you can just use this and it can get, the, get us about 120 miles down the road. And, and we're going to try and get to Flagstaff. And we're going to try and get to Flagstaff from <laughs> Which is like Mexican four hut. hours. Yeah, it's a bit of a drive. And but we're just going to stop at each place and see what's happened with the tyre. But we've just got to chance it. We have to. We don't have a choice. We yeah, don't well. have service. We desert, can't guys. call anyone. We can't call roadside assistance. Yeah. We paid for that. Yeah, that's right. We paid for roadside. We, we have no reception to call them. So <laughs> we got to figure this out. We're going to put this together? Yeah. All right. There okay, we well go. We, we know. Where the cables go, Robs? <laughs> <laughs> like a scarf around my neck. Well, they've got instructions. We'll just read the instructions. Okay. The tyre repair kit, this one here, doesn't come with a bottle that we need. We don't have it. It doesn't come with it. I mean, it should. That there, the little canister, right there. Well, that should be here, in here. This is useless. So yeah, you're right. When they hired this, gave this car to us, they should have checked for this. And obviously someone's taken it. Someone's taken it. Someone's taken the canister. So we, are, we have no reception. We're gonna put a little bit of air in the tire now. And we're gonna try and make it to Flagstaff before the sun goes down. We're not be. Five. Yeah, so we've got about three hours. We've got about two, two and a half hours of light. So what we're going to do, we're going to pump the tyre up to about 30 psi, which is about the same as the other tyres. And then we're just going to try and make it to flake stuff. Yeah. Because I don't want to over inflate the tyre in 100 degree temperatures. This, this drama, right, reminds me with the flat tire and like constantly staring at the tire pressure gauge reminds me when I used to go road tripping with my dad when I was like in my teenage years traveling from Queensland down to Sydney and my dad used to drive like these old cars and like they'd overheat, the engine would overheat and then like I'd always be watching the temperature gauge and one time the engine caught on fire serious yeah the carburetor my dad's car caught on fire I can never forget this so I saw the temperature gauge it went through the roof like went into the red I was like dad the temperature gauge is like any freak dad because we saw smoke coming from underneath the thing and we were in we were in Gympie Gympie G-Y-M-P-I-E we pulled over and you could see flames coming from underneath the bonnet and literally we jumped out and popped the bonnet and there was like a full on fire in the carburetor. Yeah, I'll never forget that. Just a memory, good memories. All right, in the township of Cayenta, air pressure's dropped only one PSI from Mexican hat put a bit more air in this thing and we'll continue on. Yes! That air machine doesn't work, so we're gonna go to another one. We found a machine that has air in it. Let's go, let's do this. Check out the beauty of Arizona during a sunset. Check this out. It's 10 past 8 at night and we're on our way to Cameron, we're on the 89 South and uh, we just started getting phone reception now for the first time in about 3 hours, 4 hours. I don't know, like we've had a our flat tyre is stabilised, 28 psi. Still low, but it's not 20 psi like it was. We lost so much air pressure. We lost like 10 psi within like 10 minutes. It was crazy. Like you could hear the leak coming out of the tire. It was nuts. How crazy was it? It was so crazy. Yeah. 
short little break in Cameron, get some fuel, get some air. 10 past nine at night. And we've just tried three service stations to get fuel and air. The first service station had neither. The second service station had fuel, but no air. The third service station had air. So we got fuel from one and air from another. A representative will be with you in a moment. <laughs> in a moment. Emergency roadside assistant. No. It's 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> like, why are we still driving? This is ridiculous. We should be having a shower now. We should be getting ready for bed. No. We're, we're, we're still got an hour to go. <laughs> Over there is Jupiter. Really cool smartphone. Oh, look, there's another one. Saturn is up there. Alright folks, we made it. Grand Canyon Inn is where we're staying tonight. We're in Val. Our tire pressure is at 26. We've lost a few PSI, but we managed to make it with a flat tire. Still waiting for a callback from the rental company from Emergency Roadside Assistance. Tried to call them about an hour ago and uh, they haven't caught back yet, so, so much for an emergency roadside assistance program. Anyway, that's it, speak to you tomorrow, bye.